All right, hey LinkedIn, I have Vivian Rank with me, an executive coach, and we just wanted to sit down and uh, have a chat and introduce ourselves via LinkedIn style. And of course, this is not part of Ask a Recruiter, but this is coach on coach, we'll call it. Uh, but yeah. Vivian, yeah, Vivian's in Minneapolis. I lived there for a very long time, so we were catching up and exchanging ideas about coaching. But I wanted to kind of put out there that a lot of people often don't know. Uh, when they would need an executive coach. So who needs an executive coach? Everyone. And that, that can be if you are an analyst, a VP, a director, a boomer, a millennial, a Gen X, you have your own business, you work in a corporate job. Right. Uh, everybody's a leader and, and, and everybody's an executive. So it's really, it, it's really for anyone who wants to be the best version of themselves. Yeah. Uh, so they should, when should they hire an executive coach? You or know, some, or uh, is there a better time than, than another time? You know, um, and most of the people that I work with pay for coaching themselves. Um, and I and I love that because that's an indication to me they're willing to make an investment in themselves and they right. want to work on themselves. Right. But there are some really uh, typical entry points into coaching, and one of them is uh, they've gotten feedback. Either they took a 360 or their manager gave them some feedback, and they really don't see it and they really don't know what to do with it. Um, especially um, behaviors, right? Someone's given them feedback on specific behaviors. They know they need to change. They just need someone to help them. Sure. Um, when a promotion happens and you're taking a bigger job, have a bigger team, and are facing some fears about what to do next, yeah. um, if, if you've been tapped by your company to do a development plan, that is one of my most frequent requests is I don't have a development plan. I don't know how to do a development plan. I don't know what I should develop. Sure, sure. I, I deal a lot with executives that, that are maybe having a hard time getting back into the workforce, maybe a layoff. Um, so how would you coach them on kind of making those steps to get back into the competitive workforce? Confidence is a probably one of the number one results of coaching. Mm -hmm and self-awareness. So the path to that is different for each person. Sure. And so the coach really works with what's getting in that person's way, helping them to identify it, uh, and, then, and then really encouraging them to try new things, take some new actions. Right. So 99% of what happens in a coaching engagement happens outside of the session. Sure. Clients, noticing some, sometimes the homework I give is just notice when you do that, notice when you feel that way. Right. What right. is going on there and how, you know, how can we make a change? Yeah. Well, Vivian, that's great. And, you know, you, you had commented to me, your coach was pushing you to do video. So yeah. Yeah. You want, so, you want to show everyone your coach here? Yeah. So Billy the Bear has <laughs> been my coach and he really pushes me to be the best that I can be. So um is that right, Billy? Yeah. Billy the bear. Yeah. So we're, he'd like to see that. Gonna tag, we're gonna tag Bobby. But uh tag Bobby. Yep. Thanks, Bobby. Pushing us both to get on the video. So that's right. That's right. All right. Thanks, Vivian. Thank you. And if anyone's interested in executive coaching, they can find you on LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn.